In the aerospace industry, a thrust control system on rocket engines is fundamental to the engine operation process in its flight envelope to accomplish all mission requirements. The thrust modulation has been studied through years of research in many countries. However, in general, flow control systems have complexity, regional availability, and costs issues, making it inaccessible for smaller companies, agencies, or research laboratories. The lack of flow control solutions for aerospace applications on the Brazilian market was the main motivation of the current research. In this work financed by the National Council of Research, a thrust control system, bases on propellant mass flow rate control, was designed, built, and tested in a project of three years at the Chemical Propulsion Laboratory of the University of Brasilia. A reliable, low-cost flow control system consists mainly of components of the shelf and allows a wide range of flow regulation. A compact paraffin N2O hybrid propulsion system commonly used in small rockets is characterized by a short operation time near 10 seconds and uses a small oxidizer tank with self-pressurization capabilities. In this case, the oxidizer tank pressure drops rapidly, as well as the pressure in the line and combustion chamber, due to the low internal energy of the liquid oxidizer. Moreover, initially, the hybrid motor may be overloaded by excess oxidizer flow and at its end suffers from insufficient engine performance due to low oxidizer mass flow rate. In such a process the combustion chamber and the nozzle operate mostly in non-optimal conditions, where the propulsion process and thermal loads inside the motor could not be controlled directly. Constant thrust regime or thrust modulation requires a technical solution of the oxidizer flow control, according to the flight program of the rocket. The propulsion performance, system safety, and operation time can be increased with efficient oxidizer control that is the main purpose of current work. The system consists of the control valves, servo motors, piping, propellant tanks, pressure and temperature sensors, feedback electronic system, data acquisition system and control systems, homemade software. A set of the design requirements for the current development projects have been defined in terms of the flow characteristics, response time, materials compatibility, electric and electronic compatibility, minimal size, mass and volume, reliability, ambient conditions, etc. Development of a thrust control system required to design, build, and test technical solutions for already existing and newly developed low thrust propulsion systems. Initially, the system was designed for a hybrid rocket motor of 1 kN thrust, working on paraffin and nitrous oxide, previously developed and tested in the laboratory. Later, the system technical requirements based on this motor were extended to attend higher limits of the propellant flow and to be used also in other motors with similar characteristics in feeding schematics, a test hybrid motor, and a solid fuel ramjet motor developed in CPL. A set of design requirements has been defined in terms of flow characteristics, response time, material compatibility, electrical and electronic compatibility, minimum size, mass and volume, reliability, environmental conditions, etc. An analysis of chemical compatibility of the system components with the propellants used in the propulsion system, such as nitrous oxide, oxygen, nitrogen, and compressed air was carried out and thus a list of materials available in the national and international markets for the construction of the system have been defined. A control valve is the key component of the thrust control system. It is composed of a valve body controlled with external gears, augmented by a high-torque servo motor, and embedded electronics with feedback. An aluminum sealed case is designed to mount the valve on a rocket or a test bench, it protects the control valve components from an external environment, such as vapor or liquid, dust, mechanical and electrical impact, etc. Two valve models were built for different propellant flow rate levels. The valves were designed to attend the mass performance, volume performance, cost per kilograms, reliability, and compatibility requirements. A feed system was designed and built to provide a liquid or gaseous oxidizer to rocket engines safely and efficiently. The feeding system is capable of acquiring the data essential for its characterization, pressure, temperature, and mass flow rate along the charge and feeding lines. Based on the product's catalogs of national manufacturers, commercial off-the-shelf components were chosen to compose a thrust control system. Some components that were not found in the national market were developed in the laboratory and manufactured by companies of the Brazilian aerospace industry, such as components of flow control valves, adapters, connectors, parts of the propellant supply and discharge system. System development was based on the safety principle operation of the system in any regime, starting from the integrity checkup, testing preparation. Test execution and finishing by the system shutdown and its depowering should happen in automatic mode without a human presence on the test site. 
a system observation and control are realized from a distant control room. The safety principle includes hardware and software solutions in test preparation, execution, and termination. The system was completely designed and simulated on the computer to prove the characteristics before its manufacture and assembly. After the parts were produced and received at the laboratory, a system for static testing of mechanical, hydraulic, and electrical compatibility of the components received with pressurization by nitrogen was set up. After the tests were successfully concluded and the necessary modifications were implemented, the system was permanently installed in the laboratory to compose a part of the main test bench. The characteristics of the system have been proven in a large number of experiments with nitroosoxide, air, oxygen, and water as a model liquid. The entire system was tested in a series of cold and hot flow tests, including valve body impermeability, response time, system integrity, and operation repeatability. A purely gaseous and liquid flow control algorithm was developed. It is relatively simple and predictable by the analytical modeling when compared with the biphasic models. As an example of the application of the pressure control system, a study of nitroosoxide control is shown in this video as one of the most complex fluids, from a computational point of view, used in hybrid rocket engine applications. The flow and discharge coefficients of the valve were found experimentally for various levels of valve opening and flow conditions. As a result, empirical relationships between the flow characteristics and the control signal were found experimentally, allowing to build an efficient pressure control algorithm in real-time implemented in the control software. After cold tests and system characterization, two types of hot tests were performed. The first type of test was carried out with a hybrid rocket engine that works with liquid nitroosoxide as an oxidizer and solid paraffin as fuel. The test program included stabilizing the pressure in the combustion chamber to ensure the desired thrust. During the operation of the propulsion system, the feed subsystem controlled the oxidizer flow in real time according to the algorithm previously used in the cold tests. More than 10 hot tests were performed in this research. At the same time, the supersonic nozzles made of carbon composite were successfully tested as part of the CNPQ scientific cooperation project called Universal 2016. The second type of the engine tested is the solid fuel ramjet motor that uses compressed air as an oxidizer and plastic composite and paraffin grain as fuel. The test program included four phases, such as heater ignition, main fuel ignition, continuous combustion, and the propulsion termination phase. The flow control system automatically adapted to each phase of engine operation by a PID algorithm developed and implemented at the laboratory. Hundreds of tests were executed using the thrust control system developed in the project with this engine. The results analysis showed great reliability and repeatability of the system's operation. The thrust control system built in the project attends all the requirements specified for this development. Hundreds of experiments have been performed during a year, the system showed its reliable and safe operation inside the design parameters. The design requirements of the flow control valve were proven. It's a compact and relatively low-cost equipment, having low weight and dimensions, reliable, robust, resistant to temperature, pressure, aggressive chemical reactions and allows fast flow control of high mass flow in aerospace applications, such as rockets and jet engines. System design conditions were defined based on the motor properties developed and tested in the laboratory. The safety procedures and previous experience were taken into account in the new system design. Tank charging, motor feeding, partial and full discharge modes have been developed to attend safety principles and system requisites. Regional market components were preferentially used in system construction, with a small number of imported components. Mostly components of the shelf were used to guarantee system compatibility with other industrial solutions. The assembled system has successively passed cold tests, where the control properties were defined. The control function was found from the analysis of experimental results, as well as the system response time. 0.25 seconds for valve opening and 0.75 seconds for pressure stabilization. System functionality was proven in a series of cold and hot experiments. The flow error controlled by the empirical flow reverse function was found to be smaller than 5%. The PID flow control algorithm was implemented and successively tested, the flow typical stabilization time was found to be near one second. The validation of the effective control algorithm for cold and hot flow has been completed.